Hi everybody! Briquette here showing the locations of all 17 drill thrills in the LEGO City Undercover. The first drill thrill I'll do is in Jerry Tree Hills, a little bit past the crookedest street in front of this house. The Super Drill Ride Red Brick makes these drill thrills go a little faster, and it's pretty much the only thing you need it for. It's at 16 minutes and 36 seconds of my LEGO City Undercover 9 Red Bricks for Speed video. I'll link it in the description and I'll put a card in the top right corner of this video. Also, the timestamps of all the drill thrills are in the description if you want to skip right to them. Thanks to Ozone Tot 0704, Sui LP, Paul J, Itsy Sean YT, Callum, and Gamer2466 for requesting this video. I did this drill throw once without the Super Drill Ride Red Brick. Then I restored the game and I did it with the red brick turned on to compare the two speeds. I finished the first one without the red brick with 33 seconds to spare. I had 45 seconds to spare with the red brick turned on. That helps if I fall or mess up somehow. It gives me time to recover. I'll do the rest of these with the Super Drill Ride red brick turned on to make them go a little faster. That's where the Auburn Drill Thrill is. I'll show you three ways to get up there. The timestamps are all in the description. We need to get up to the top of that building to the left of this water tower. There are a few ways to get up there. The first two ways I show require the jetpack. The description below this video shows the timestamps for all three ways, so you can skip to the third way if you don't have the jetpack. Here's an even faster way to get to the Auburn Drill Thrill with the jetpack. The Fort Meadows Drill Thrill starts at 743 of this video if you want to skip right to it. I tried chicken gliding off to the right over there, but it didn't work. The actual Drill Thrill starts around 3 minutes and 34 seconds of this video. 
Here's a third way to get up to the drill thrill in Auburn if you don't have the jetpack yet. Hit the right button to pick it up. You can use the left stick to steer and to go forward, but to go backwards you need to use the left trigger or the bottom button to reverse, whatever it says at the bottom of the screen. That turned off the electricity so you can get on top of that fence. But there's a mini game that you can play to get a large super brick. Drive through that token and go over the buttons again before the time runs out. <laughs> wow, I had to go past this point to trigger the super brick the right button <laughs> to exit control of the RC car or whatever it says to press on your screen. You need at least the farmer disguise to get to that wall. There's a bouncy thing in that can to get up there a little easier. Or you can just jump on top of it. The right side wasn't going out at first, so I moved a little closer. The actual drill thrill starts around 3 minutes and 34 seconds of this video. Now that we're done with Auburn, I'll go do the drill thrill in Fort Meadows. Here I am where the Fort Meadows train station should be. I didn't want to build it because that would get rid of the red train in this game. The game will move that car. Only 32? I missed three? That one's done. It's not bouncing. There they are. Now I'll do the drill thrill in Bluebell National Park.
<laughs> oh wait, it's over to the left. I'm going to take a helicopter to the uptown drill throw because it's faster. can't mark it. As you're descending over the crash pad, you should get a prompt. If you hit it as soon as you see it, you should get a cool swan dive out of chase. <laughs> I fell off the building here one time. I don't think you actually have to jump up on this ledge. I think you can drill alongside it. That worked in other places. The other way to get to the Uptown Drill Thrill from the Uptown train station is climbing up to the top of the art museum. If you don't have the jetpack, you can climb up that wall with the farmer disguise. 
But this way is much quicker. See the crash pad over to the right? Oh wait, not that way. <laughs> the drill thrill is before this, around 12 minutes and 57 seconds. I got here by taking a helicopter to this crash pad. There's a link in the description to go directly to the Uptown Drill Thrill in this video. The Crescent Park Drill Thrill is closer to the Bright Lights Plaza train station than the Crescent Park one. So I'll go there. I was a little off with my marker on the map. <laughs> it's actually over here. Now I'll get the drill thrill in Bright Lights Plaza. That's the marker for the shield on top of the building, if you didn't get it yet. You can jetpack around this corner, or you can use the teleporter over here.
big box in the middle is where you get one of the shields for the pop star. Just checking to make sure I got them all. <laughs> now you can go back up the ladder to get the shield if you want. Next up is the Drill Thrill and Pagoda. So And there's a kitty over there. I thought I was supposed to use this teleporter. Nope. The drill thrill in Festival Square is over the hospital. I need to relax. Huh, right on the beat. <laughs> From the train station, we can get to the hospital by going around this building.
You can also get up there this way. Now for the drill thrill downtown. There's the color swapper and dynamite building. I can't believe I yelled out the out. Yeah. <laughs> I am feeling good. I'm so glad I moved to Lego Cities. Oops, I shouldn't have jumped up to that ledge. This is a long chicken glide. There's the KC character token. I originally jetpacked over to that bar, but I wanted to see if I could chicken glide over to it, and I could. So I took out the jetpack part. Now we're back to the first cut. <laughs> A dollar sign because it's over the bank. Well, that was pretty easy. We can get to the Lady Liberty Island Drill Thrill from downtown by going to the flat side of this building. Next, I'll do the drill thrill in King's Court. So glad I moved to Lego City.
The comedy and tragedy masks are over the theater. Wow, I don't know why he got electrocuted. Maybe because I touched it before hitting the right button. Now I'll go to the Apollo Island Drill Throw from the ferry in King's Court. I was going to cut out this part, but I figured I showed it in all my other challenge videos. Why not? One more time. <laughs> a wonky truck. Oh man, I always have trouble with that jump. another cat you can get with the firefighter disguise. <laughs> so cute. My video showing where all the cats are is linked in the description of this video. I'll also put a card in the upper right corner of this video right here linking to the video. I also did an updated version of the free run right here in my video of all the characters on Apollo Island. I'll link that one too. Hold the jump button to get some height. Oh, and to the left is the token to unlock the free run.
there are a lot of other things to do up here too. You can get to the drill thrill and fresco from right about here. This is an emergency. You can jetpack up here too. I gotta send that letter. I feel great. You can also walk over to the right and jump up to the zip line. <laughs> I tried to jump down but got caught by the zip line. Now for the Paradise Sands Drill Thrill on the pier. Sorry, it's an emergency. Yeah, right. We have to get to that drill thrill. <laughs> This was the last thing I got when I 100%ed my first saved game. Now I'll get the drill thrill at the Lego City Airport. Oh. 
If you don't have the jet pack, go over here and carry a box over to that green pad and build a bouncy thing. camera on this one is really crazy. <laughs> there it goes again. My last drill thrill is an Albatross Island prison, which we can get to from the ferry in Cherry Tree Hills. I hope I get it. Here we are behind the police station. The drill thrill is in the back prison yard. The drill thrill is up there. Feeling good. We can take the long way by going up the stairs up there, or we can jetpack up here. Don't forget the large super brick over here. There's the token to unlock the free run. I'll unlock that after this drill thrill. There's another cat to get with the firefighter disguise, but you get it on the other side of the prison. And we get the Construction Completion Trophy, or Achievement, for completing all the Construction Worker Challenges, the Coffee Breaks, and the Drill Throws. And we get the Rod Stanchion Character Token for completing all the Drill Throws. Uh. Whoa! Is there anything you can't do, Chase? Congratulations! Rod Stanchion is a Construction Worker, of course. <laughs> And cost 20,000 studs. How did they? Woohoo! Day off! 
While we're up here, I thought I'd show you a couple other things, like the teleporter I just built to get to the silver statue, the yellow color swapper, and unlocking the free run. You can go up that way to get up there without the jetpack. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, which I really appreciate. And subscribe to see when I upload new videos. And I'll see you next time.